Hey everybody, it's Kenneth again. Welcome back to the Shoegazer channel where we talk about effect pedals, exciting music gear, home production and more all around the beautiful noise and otherworldly soundscapes. This is the fourth part of my Easy and Dreamy series. Easy and Dreamy because I want to show you ways how you can sound dreamy on guitar without two complex finger patterns. That would make it a little hard to go over the frets at all, especially as a beginner. What I'm going to show you is interesting for beginners and also for professional musicians as it's a really fun way to play. The Easy and Dreamy chord series are mostly about open chords. The open chords I show you are mainly based on open tunings. Open tunings are a little different from the standard tuning E, A, D, G, B and E. This is the standard tuning. If I would just strum the strings without grabbing any chord, I would get an E minor 11. When I position now my middle finger and my ring finger on the second and on the third string in the second fret position, I would get a chord that maybe every beginner knows, the E minor. But I could play even easier by just pointing my index finger on the second string in the second fret position. Then I get an E minor 7. Major and minor 7 chords are already known as very dreamy chords, but we can play even easier. Probably you know power chords. Power chords are basically just playing two notes, like an E and a B. Something like this. When you play power chords, you are able to play riffs and also just the basic notes of chords. Very common in standard guitar rock music. If you're comfortable with using your index finger and your ring finger in this pattern, like this. By touching only the first two strings. Then I would offer you to try out a little experiment. Try to use your pinky to mute the third string here. And the last three strings, which are G, B and E, just leave them open and strum them, trying out different power chords at the same time. Just try it. When you play this way, you can use the standard tuning just like an open tuning. By muting the D string here, you can already create beautiful songs. actually playing very simple power chords, but they are supported by the open strings here. Which together, um, if I would mute all of them, you have a G6 chord. Which is a brilliant basic atmosphere to play other chords over them. This is actually how I learned to play guitar, because when I was around 13 years old I wasn't so interested in music theory. I just wanted to grab the guitar and play some basic chords. And this way I could already start writing interesting music that could really replicate my emotion as a teenager. When I was a teenager you could hear alternative rock music on the radio everywhere. It was kind of the mainstream music during that time. It was a very cool time. But of course you can also add your pinky again and don't mute the third string. So then you would get this. I just play random chords here just to give you an impression of what I mean. If you're comfortable stretching your pinky two frets further, then you get a sus chord. If you just play three notes this way, a sus chord can already sound super full and dreamy. Bye. 
but I could totally understand you because this is not easy at all. This wouldn't be an easy and dreamy chord. And this is why many bands during the 90s and early 2000s decided to tune down their low E string to D. Now that I tuned down my low string to D instead of E, I can play a sus chord pretty easily. I don't have to play the power chord like this now, I just can put on my finger. This tuning is now called drop D. With drop D you can play the sus chord so easily because it's actually like a power chord in standard tuning. You just put your ring finger on the third string now, holding down the first string and the second string as well. And now you have this. This is something that bands like Amusement Parks on Fire or even Deftones used. And many other emo, alternative and also metal bands. Now let's add the G6 chord, our last three strings here. James Nellinger EW3000C guitar here, which is a half acoustic electronic guitar and can sound like an acoustic guitar from the 80s, a little bit like Cocteau Twins. Capo Duster on the second fret position, for example, I can play a song by Amusement Parks on Fire, which is called Venus and Cancer, just by using one finger. about open tunings is that they can be interesting for everyone, no matter if you're a beginner or advanced. For me, guitar playing started when my English teacher in 7th grade gave me a book with basic chords and lessons. So as soon as I got home from school, I went to my room, sat there and learned the basic guitar chords with this book. And now, even after 18 years, there are still so many new and exciting things for me to discover. Which brings me to the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. If you haven't heard from them already, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including writing, music and video production, photography, freelancing and more. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in your creativity. There's something interesting for everyone. For example, there is a brilliant course by Mark Barnacle that I already started called Learn Guitar – The Complete Beginner's Guide. He is super patient when explaining tunings, chords and notes and because I learned guitar very intuitively, even I learned a lot in the first 10 minutes of his course already. Another course I'm excited to check out is your Enlightened Guide to Lyrics and Songwriting by Adam Sweeney. It's a very helpful class for everyone who wants to improve their songwriting. He talks about the art of writing lyrics from personal experience and also shares emotional tips like how you can enjoy the process of writing music much more. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, which means it's completely ad-free and they are always launching new premium classes. And with an annual subscription, it's not even $10 a month. If you're interested in trying out Skillshare, the first 1000 people who use the link in my description will receive a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership. So this is how you can start to explore open tunings. If you have done this and you're tired of the G6 tuning here, why not trying to tune down the high E string to D2? This tuning is now called Double Drop D. 
because you chose to tune down both E strings to D. It sounds super full, beautiful and just dreamy and very airy, I like it. Now we can just try to use our pinky, we just leave it underneath the ring finger. Now we have much more ways to create chords. I can change the position from my pinky one half note flat using my middle finger. So when I do this while I'm playing this chord, for example, I can create very beautiful moods. I think this is so beautiful. The same chord pattern works beautifully in the third fret position. With double drop D, you're actually playing in 3D. That means D. The third string is D and the last string is D. If you want to create some kind of mandolin sound or something that sounds a little more Irish, just put your fingers on all the D strings in the same fret position. And all the other strings, you just leave them open and then you get this. Also a very dreamy way and very clear and full sounding way to play guitar. Really cool. But if you want to write a song, the cool thing about open tunings is if you want to write a song you can just use a carpet duster, put them in any position that you like that is good for your vocals for example or for your band. Now you can create dreaminess in another scale. Just make sure when you use a capo duster that all your strings are in tune again. Because sometimes they get a little too sharp or too flat. It's a really comfortable way to play guitar and it's a lot of fun because there are so many possibilities that you can choose from, especially using a capo duster. I just want to explain you the basics here. So now we have reached D, A, D, G, B, D. We can still explore open tunings much more. Let's say we take the G string and tune it down. When we're doing this we're getting a D6 chord. I don't know how this tuning is called. But it would sound like this. So if we tune from the G to an F sharp, we can try to use the same technique that I just showed you just by holding our finger on the first two strings. This is working. I like using this chord starting from the fifth fret position and changing it to the second fret position, just with one finger. G major seven.
as a teenager it was pretty hard for me to play with one finger all the time. You can also take your middle finger and your index finger to play the first two strings here and it's much easier. Now let's take the third string to it in this shape again and let's see how this sounds. So now we learned three open tunings plus our standard tuning. With this finger shape going try and arrow all over the fret and just tuning down the two D strings or also the G string, you have already three different open tunings which are so beautiful and have so many possibilities that you are already ready to play guitar if you have the grab. But uh, you don't have to learn complex guitar chords to play dreamy chords. This is what this series is about. If you're a beginner or a professional, doesn't matter, maybe this content could inspire you. If you know any interesting chord shapes or any easy way to play super beautiful chords, just write me in the comments below and uh, share it with all of us. Also, if you like and comment this video, the algorithm will know that it could be interesting for other musicians. You would really help this video to reach more viewers if you do this. I would be very grateful for that. Thanks for watching and check out the other videos of Easy and Dreamy Chords. Subscribe for the channel if you like this content. If you want to look up these tunings again, you can also watch in my description below. There I will leave you a note of all these tunings that I just showed you. And there are also some social media links if you want to follow me there. Just do it and uh, I hope you have fun and you're creative. I'm looking forward to welcome you next time on my channel. So, see you later. Thank you.